How's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode of Soul Race Specialist. And if you are new to the series, definitely check out the rules page for the series. You can find that in the description of the video. It'll only take you like a minute to get the general idea of what it's about and it'll make the series a lot more interesting that way. Other than that, we're going to continue where we left off. Uh, we're almost ready for Zami. Just got to bang out a glory because we did get that Carol's Top recently. So yeah, stats wise, gears wise, we're almost there. And yeah, get that Zami Spear. That's huge, huge. There we go. Just hit 92 magic. So it wasn't too big of an issue, but basically 92 magic means I can uh, use Blood Barrage without boosting for the MB Heart. So I think that would be the ideal level for me uh, at Zami though, because I don't think I want to bring an MB Heart just because I can save inventory space uh, without bringing it for food or something, which is really good. So definitely a really nice level to get nonetheless. All right, we got a Shaman Heart Clue here. Check it out. Oh, Armadillo Play Legs? Huh, I don't think I have that. Okay, I mean, it's kind of a somewhat cool, unique, I guess. Ooh, just hit 86 attack, baby. All right, that's going to contribute a little bit towards uh, the Zami grind. Just working on a random medium clue that I got and observatory clue. That's really annoying because of all the traveling you have to do on the ground, but no more because now you can just set up a grapple, which will let you just scale up the freaking hill and just take you there in a fraction of the original time. And it stays there forever, it's perm from what I can tell. So, yeah, really easy now. Alright, this is a really good crafting level here. 71, now I can make blue dragon high armor, which is the body. So, that's awesome. No more having to drop blue dragon high related clue squirrels. I had to drop so many. So, when I'm not editing a video and I'm just like watching a show, I can get over 80k experience an hour doing charge shows, which is actually really good. It may not seem like a lot, but actually this is overall faster than seaweed method because seaweed method, you have to include the time that you have to spend to get the buckets of sand and also to plant the seaweed spores and also to farm them, which will bring the seaweed method down to like 70k an hour. So char ships, if you are in a rush, is definitely a bit better. All right, I plan on getting this done in four days and I uh, did it. Yeah, 75 crafting. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, I can make the Slayer Rings actually. Uh, the Slayer Rings are nice. I haven't had the best teleports around the world. So uh, I'm definitely going to make a lot of Slayer Rings with that. But 75 means I can boost. So sometime tonight, I'm going to get the annoying boosting process out of the way and just make some glories and a bunch of other things. So, okay, maybe uh, I'm going to do a few more crafting and uh, raise my pet because I don't know what happened to my cat I guess it died two years ago or it left so yeah I had a kitten all right well time to grow the kitten to a cat I guess all right guys so I haven't checked all my dragonstone stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and do it right now so there's a few uh, places I'm gonna be getting dragonstones you know if I don't already have them from like keys or stuff so I got nine dragon stones cut and let's see where I put my crystal key pieces. Oh there it is. Oh my god, dude. Okay, they're they're about pretty much even, so uh let's just say 34 keys from here. Um that means 47. Damn, I got 57 dragon stones, dude. Alright, alright, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get myself some more dragon stones real quick from these keys. I thought it would be a great idea to use Crystal Math Labs to just show you some of the highlights in terms of experience uh, towards certain skilling goals I've had for the Rose to Solo Race series. So the past a month, I've gained almost 10 million experience. Feels like a half. Half of my experience, obviously, went towards all of my combat skills because I've been primarily spending most of my time doing Slayer, so that makes a lot of sense. I've done a little bit of cooking, but that's for Karen Bonds, uh, for Zora mainly, and some Anglerfish. Uh, some other highlights is the mining, that was for 72 mining, for the making friends with my arm. Uh, Quas also gained 400k herbal experience a few days ago uh, by using up all the herbs I farmed and got 72 for that. And I gained 900k Slayer experience, uh, I am currently at 90 Slayers, so yeah, I have gained a lot of experience during 
that time. And of course, I've been doing a lot of farm runs every day as well, so I get another 450k. But yeah, these are the overall leveling efforts. I actually remember that you can now guess the age of your cat, and even though I've been crafting for over an hour, it says it's only been growing for 4 minutes. So what that tells me is, if you stay in a world for only a few seconds at a time, it won't count it. You have to be there for, uh, I guess, at least a minute or something. So doing charge ships, I'm hopping all the time. So it's actually just not growing. So uh, I guess I'm going to have to take a break from charge ships for a bit and just go do some caramel fishing or something. Alright, so one thing I want to find out is whether or not Karambuanji would heal my cat. I'm gonna not risk too much. If it's like 3 HP down 2 HP, I'm gonna use it and see if it works. It should work. Oh, nice. I mean, I have leftover lobsters. I don't know what to do with them, but Karambanji is nice. Oh, alright. That was a little bit too close for comfort, but I managed to make the 20 that I wanted, so. Alright, enchant it. My last glory. Time to charge it. Ah, oh, wow. There we go. Just at 71 farming. Uh, what's the next seed? Was that 72? Let me just have a look. 73 Slanta Dimes? Oh, I got a Dust Battle Staff? Are you serious? Alright, so this is a surprise. I thought I blocked Cave Krakens after I got the Trident, but I guess I never did. But anyways, I'm thinking pretty far ahead since I already know what things I want to get for the future. My thought process now is that if I kill Cave Krakens, the boss, I can go for a Tense Goal, which is super nice uh, for future goals, you know, that I want to get done, like killing Bandos for some Bandos armor or doing TOB, right? Having a Tense Goal with for those things would be super nice. Not something I directly would use at raids, but... It's definitely a supplementary goal to actually help me get some of those upgrades. Might as well do it now, I guess, while I'm looking for a Zami task. I've been meaning to do some gem mining for a while now, but now that I have the glory charge, which will double the speed of gem mining and also uh, doing a Kraken task, it's giving me the incentive to do so. So these gems are super useful, especially for like teleporting, scaling. But the most important thing I'll use it for other than that is definitely for Slayer because Slaughter Bracelets and Extra Dishes Bracelets I can either extend or shorten a task I do want to do or not want to do. So for Kraken it's a good example. I kind of just want to get the Tentacle fast. So I would like to just extend my task so I have a better chance to get it done in one task. Let me show you guys my gear for the Kraken boss. It looks not too shabby. Not too shabby. Pretty standard setup here, just gonna maximize my magic defense, 1c5 is pretty good. And over here, I bring up Accumulator, Blowpipe, and Wrenching Potions, because Blowpipe heals are super nice. It basically is half my inventory of food, and imbue hard for the extra magic damage and defense, which is huge. And uh, for food, just Karen Bonds, just cause Kraken doesn't really deserve anything better than that. Got a bit of Sanfu Serums, that's one of the best parts about this Kraken task. Really good for Sammy and probably raids cause Anti-Poison and Super Restore All-in-One saves me so much inventory space. And inventory space matters a lot. Oh, what? Alright, we just got something that's more rare than a Kraken Tentacle, but it's actually quite nice just cause it does have a ton of runes. It drops a charge one, so yeah, that's 2,500 death runes, chaos runes, and whatnot in there. So that's less recharging tridents for me. Always good. I just had the wildest neck rail task in terms of loot. Five snapdragon seeds, and overall the seed amounts are just woof, straight through the roof, man. Definitely way better than most of the other slayer creatures, even though the other ones aren't bad themselves. Oh, nice. I just, I think I hit my first ever 10 mil stack on this account. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Ah, man. Slayer's too good for the money, boys. A while ago, I asked my viewers uh, for name suggestions for Juan Life Only because, you know, new series and stuff. That means we need a new name. So, yeah, we finally changed the name and it's showing now. So, going forward, we're going to have this name for the rest of this account uh, for the series. There we go. Oh, a crosshair! Yo, that's so good. That is really, really good. Oh, baby. I don't actually have a crosshair, 
What's that hard clues like Crozier and a headband or something? Yeah, dude, I've ha I've had to drop so many of those. Oh, nice! Just hit 87 attack. Well, that's good for me though. I, I was trying to do Sammy with at least 85, but now I have an extra two attack levels. So, all right, let's uh, unlock something that I haven't unlocked yet. The ability to make. The slur rings really nice. I do have a crafting all for it. Wow, that costs 300 points, but it's totally worth it. The number one thing I want to use. What is it? The uh, Relica Slur Cave Teleport, because it's right next to Fairy Rings. So that's a huge upgrade from the Monastery or like, you know, using the one near Edgeville. Oh my god, for this hard clue, I've already like used three Relica Teleports in, in a row. Shit. I almost forgot to do something pretty important before getting a Greater Demon task, and that is to extend it just because I want to get the Zami Spirit done in one task, so increasing my chances by making the task size bigger, that's huge. If I want to actually see the long term difference, I have to do thousands of tasks. So, yes! Let's go! I only wasted like 500 Slayer points or some shit. I got it though, let's go. There we go, here we go, boys. There we go, boys. Oh, yes! Master Clue Scroll Book. Yo, let's go. I needed that. It's really nice. It's really, really nice to get this. It took me a while to get uh, to get the book, but... Now I can save myself a shit ton of inventory space, dude. I'll freaking take that. Oh, yes. That's so nice. I love, I love doing this, man. Just, like, store all your goddamn teleports in this one place. In this one item, man. I'm surprised it actually took me this long to get it, not even gonna lie. But uh, right now, I'm not really super in need of inventory space, but it definitely tidies up my bank a lot, which is really nice. So my all-in-one teleport, super nice for convenience. So Without further ado, it's time to showcase my uh, somewhat pretty okay Samrakian gear setup. So let's go into detail. I recently made the glory, so you know, we upgraded from the power amulets. For armor, is Carol's top and bottom because I'm going to be doing protect from melee standard method. And just having that extra high magic resistance is going to be good for the boss's magic attack and also for the mage minion's uh, attack. So praying melee, I'm going to be taking 1 range damage and 2 potential magic damage. So it makes sense to have Carol's all the way through. Uh, so main shield is going to be defender just for maximum accuracy. The faster I kill Zami, the less damage I'll take. And uh, instead of bringing a fire cape, I'm just going to stick with the imbue god cape just because that gives me magic bonus in defense and offense, which is going to be nice for blood barraging and also counts as a Zami item. So that way I don't have to waste inventory space for god war protection. And my weapon is obviously going to be the Art Light. It's also going to be my special attack weapon because its special attack is really nice. 10% defense reduction on the Zami boss. On top of strength and attack, if I land, Art Light's special attack lands pretty accurately, especially with the Warrior Ring A plus slash bonus. And yeah, that's really about it. In my inventory, I have gear for some tanking. So when I kill the boss, I put on my crystal shield to tank the minions and heal off of the minions with the ancient staff autocast. In my rune pouch, I got the blood barrage spell. So recently got 92 magic, so no need for imbue heart. Mostly food, uh, some prayer pots, uh, one brew for the defense, and uh, one sanfree serum for anti-poison and counts as restore as well. So yeah, that's my setup. It should be pretty decent. I'm hoping for at least two kills a trip. Getting to God Wars is a little bit weird because I don't have house teleport tabs on me, so no redirection scrolls available. And I'm not trying to train my construction right now to do that just because I want to get some action in for Zami right now. So with some recent upgrades that I have in terms of teleportation, I'm able to still get there pretty decently. So here's my new method. I have a Trollheim portal in my house from completing making friends with my arm, so that's really nice. Now the problem is I need to get to my house, so how can I get to my house quickly? So I am on Ancient Magic, so I need a way to get to my house quickly without being on regular spellbook, and there is a way. So I do have the Xerix Talisman, which if I use the Glade Teleport, I'm only a short distance away from going to a house portal. So I just set my house to the Hosidius area. And yeah, through that, I'm able to get to my house quickly and then go to God Wars. So that's how I'm going to be doing it. 
If you want to get super easy and fast KC for Zami, kill the Zami creatures in the entrance of God Wars. Don't go all the way to the Zami room just to kill four imps and hop. It's so inconvenient. This way is much easier and faster. All right, I don't know what to expect. I only have base 80 melee stats, and I've never sold Zami with such low stats. However, I do have some really good gear. Way better gear than when I last did it on my other account. Like, I only had a whip at the time. So, Art Light should probably cover for my lower stats. But yeah, I'm excited, man. Let's go get some kills at Zami right now. So my strategy for Zami boss this time around is pretty simple. I'm just going for two attacks and then I go under the boss, wait for my weapon cooldown to go off and then attack the boss again. That way he only hits me one time for every two which is ideal, otherwise he'll be hitting you like two times for every three of your attacks or something like that which is not good. So dancing under, super easy to do and totally worth it. Now there's an extra twist. If you watch closely, I also have a crystal shield swap in there as well. So every time... I attack the boss, I quickly switch into my crystal shield afterwards because there's going to be a cooldown where I'm not doing anything, right? So during the time I'm not doing anything, I'd rather have a crystal shield out so I can tank some of the ranger minions attacks. It's worth it though because why not, right? Hopefully help me tank a bit better during the boss fight. Yeah, it's a bit sweaty but I have to do it. My stats are really low. Come on, man, just die. Thank you, thank you. What? You didn't die? Okay. Oh, first kill, Jesus. That was a rough one. Oh, what the fuck? I just got a Zamrak kill? Why? Are you serious? I just got a Zamrak kill? Oh my god, bro. What? Oh my god, dude. I, I need to pick this up, but... Hold on, hold on. What? I just got a Zam... What is going on? Holy shit, bro. That's crazy. Wow, dude. I, I can't believe I actually got a Zami Hill. Ho ho ho. Holy shit, isn't it, boys? Wow, that's insane. That spec attack got me so fucking good. Oh, man, I gotta eat up again. Jesus. Man, this boss sometimes, dude. This wreck you, dude. I've lost, like, my, my focus. Shit. Oh my god, dude. Chill, 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 chill. Chill, chill. Oh, Jesus. Man. I'm just having a hard time. Oh, I could be dead right there. Yikes, 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 boys. I can't even manage one right now. Jesus. Okay, this is, uh, not working out too much because this minions just keep hitting me so goddamn much. I'm not getting a break right now. Dude, I don't even know if I can get this kill, man. Oh, oh, fuck me, fuck me, dude, fuck me, let's go. Eat. Hello, hello, server, server. Gain the focus, man, I'm trying, dude. I am trying right now, man. The first trip was actually going amazing. First three kills went smooth, man. Smoother than my lotion hands do during winter, goddamn. But then, the fourth kill happened, and yeah, as you can see, I was getting my ass beat. So when the boss decides to spec you twice in one kill, you know you're going downhill. There's nothing going on in your life that's worth praising, honestly, after that. And then the goddamn minions too, they decided to spank me just as hard. So I spent pretty much 80% of my food just on that last kill, and I couldn't even get the kill. So yeah, tough times, tough times. You know what, I'm pretty proud of myself with this gear and my stats. I was getting anywhere from 2 to 4 kills a trip. Which is a lot better than when I first did Sammy on my other Iron Man. I was like struggling to get anywhere from one to two kills. So, God, I'm so splash. I'm so like soaky. <gasps> oh, what the? F <laughs> oh my God! What the hell, man? Oh no! I already, I already got the spear. Are you serious? No. I have 218 kills left. Come on, man. That wasn't even a challenge now. Come on, man. I was still I'm still finding room for improvement, man. Oh man. That already happened. GG guys. Wow, that was that was way that was just way too easy. Oh, that's uh Like it very exciting stuff, but at the same time I, I immediately know like wow man, all this all this grinding here, you know, all this preparation just just to get the Z sphere in like twelve KC, right? If you think about it, had, had I known that, man, I could I could have just 
try to brute force with really extra really bad gear. Oh my god, dude. Wow. No challenge. Just out here and try again. Nah, chill. No way, dude. We're done with that. Nice. Very nice, dude. Oh my god. I've learned more Bavarian ways. Can I wear this now? Oh, I did it. Yes, that's awesome, man. Okay, nice. The Samarakian Hosta. So, so I know people are always uh, talking about the potential for Lance and stuff. So I'm not sure if I'm getting the Lance on here. But uh, as of right now, you know, we got the Hosta now. So we can mark down the progress sheet. Really, really uh, important. Going to be my primary weapon at rates. And also, I'm going to be using it at a few places, like probably service. Because uh, I am going to try to get those boots as, at some point. So we at least have that, you know. So that's always nice. And also, it's good for some dragons. I might unblock Steel Dragons now, just because they're only like a 15 uh, assignment usually from Dorado. So the Hostum should be able to make the task go by pretty quick. And I can block something better instead of the Steel Dragons, which would save me more points. So yeah, this is really nice. Uh, man, it's, it's kind of crazy though, because I, I was trying to do this whole task, but uh, I still have 250 greater demons left. I'm not sure if I want to like even, you know, go for the full, the full thing here. But at least we have this out of the way now, so huge, huge thing done. It's been a while since I've sold out on YouTube, so let's play a little game here. If this video gets enough likes. And hopefully there are likes because you enjoy the video, but if it does get enough likes, I will put out the next video for this series within like two to three days, instead of the usual five days. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I'll see you guys hopefully very soon.